What's going on everyone? It's Kamaya Films. Welcome back for another video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you something that I wish I learned a lot sooner. We're going to be going over how to sync the video clips of your music video to the audio track very easily. I used to always try to do this manually, frame by frame, trying to line up the audio track to these video clips and it used to drive me crazy. And sometimes when I'd export the video, it wouldn't even line up to the artist's lips and it would be a nightmare to go back in and have to fix it. But I actually found a surefire way to perfectly sync these video clips to the audio track. Alright, so let me show you guys how this is done. Once you have all your clips in the event browser, including your audio track, you're going to want to hold command on the keyboard and select the audio track as well as all the performance scenes. We're going to try to skip all the B-roll scenes for this selection. Alright, so right here I had a B-roll scene, so I made sure that I didn't click on it. Now that we selected all of the performance scenes as well as the audio track, we could right click and go down to synchronize clips and click on it. You can name the synchronized clip anything, we're just going to name it sync and hit OK. Depending on the size of your clips and how many clips you've chose to synchronize, it should take about 45 seconds to 2 minutes to fully render. Instead of sitting here for this part of the process, I'm going to speed it up a little bit. Okay, so when it's done, it's going to create a compound clip and place it at the top of your event browser. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to double click on it to open it. Alright, so right off the bat when you open it up, you can see that we have all the video clips as well as the audio track that we selected and they are perfectly synchronized now. So if you look very closely here, all of the waveforms on the audio are all lined up from the top to the bottom and this right here is essential. This will speed up your process in video editing and make it a breeze when editing these music video projects. So all we need to do now is two more things. We just need to remove the audio from each of these video clips and then bring all of this back into our original project. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Okay, so I'm going to go to this top clip here and I'm going to just grab this toggle on the decibels and bring it all the way down to the bottom. And then we're just going to do that for the rest of these video clips as well. What we're essentially doing is muting each of these video clips without deleting the audio that they have. Now the only thing that should be unmuted should be the audio track on the bottom. Alright, let me show y'all how good it synchronizes these video clips to the audio track. Now that I decreased all the audio on these clips, we could actually select everything once again and we're just going to copy it so we're going to hit command c and then we're going to head back into the original project where we're going to be editing the music video and we're just going to hit command v to paste these clips into it so what we basically just did there is we took it out of our sync um compound clip so you could always jump back in there and you have all your clips synced to your audio but in our original project, we now have the video clips sync perfectly to the audio as well. Now what we have is a great foundation to start making our edits and going into these performance scenes and just starting to cut and trim the things that we don't want. After we do all that, what should be left is a couple blank spots between each performance scene that we could then fill with B-roll, slow-mos, and then you just hit it with effects and transitions and damn near at that point, the video is 80-90% done. I've used this hundreds of times and it's helped me every single time. And if this has helped you out as much as it's helped me out, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Also, if you have any recommendations on effects or tutorials I should cover in my future videos, please leave them in the comment section below. Oh, and if you want to see an insane 3D bullet shell effect, click on this video right here.